Hi everyone, this is Teacher Jules once again and for today's video, we're going to talk about simple interest. When people need to secure funds for some purposes, one of the ways they usually resort to is borrowing. On the other hand, the person or institution that lends money would also wish to get something in return for the use of the said money. Let us have this example. To buy a smartphone for her son's online class, Martina went to her neighbor Tessie and borrowed 5,000 pesos at 10% interest for one year. Since Martina has to pay 5,500 pesos after a year, she plans to sell rugs as an extra source of income. To understand more about the situation, we need to familiarize ourselves with these concepts. The debtor or maker is the person who borrows the money for any purpose. In this situation, Martina is the debtor or the maker. The lender is the person or institution which loans the money. In this case, it's a person. So Tessie here is called the lender. The interest is the payment for the use of the borrowed money. Since Martina borrowed 5,000 pesos from Tessie, she paid 5,500 pesos. So the interest in this case is 500 pesos. You can get it by subtracting 5,500 with 5,000. The capital or sum of money invested is called the principal. In this example, the principal is 5,000 pesos. The rate of interest, on the other hand, is the fractional part of the principal that is paid on the loan. Here, it is expressed as percentage and it is 10%. The time or term is the number of units of time which the money is borrowed and for which interest is calculated and since Martina needs to pay the loan to Tessie in one year, the term is one year. The final amount or final value or sometimes it is called the maturity value is the sum of principal and interest, which is accumulated at a certain time. The final value in this example is 5,500 pesos. Simple interest is the type of interest in which only the original principal bears interest for the entire term of the loan. And we have the formula I which stands for the simple interest is equal to PRT wherein we're just going to multiply the principal times the rate times the time wherein time is usually expressed in years. Now, if you want to find the final value, the final amount, you just need to add the principal and the interest. And if you want to find the interest wherein the final value is given and the principal, you just need to subtract the two values. From this formula, we can also create another or an alternative solution if the interest is not yet given. So we all know that FV or the final value is equal to P which is the principal plus the I which is the interest and the interest has the formula PRT by factoring the principal value or P we have 1 plus RT. 
So in case you're looking for the final value and the interest is not yet given, well, you have the rate and the time, you can use this formula. FV or the final value is equal to P quantity 1 plus R times T. As I mentioned earlier, the time T is usually expressed in years and if ever the number of months is given, you can use the formula number of months divided by 12. Now let us have this first example. Anna is investing 200,000 pesos for 3 years. The interest rate is 5.4%. How much interest will Anna earn after three years? Here, the invested amount is the principal in the formula. Three years is the value of T and 5.4% is the rate. So using the formula I is equal to PRT, we will have now P, which is the principal, which is 200,000 times the rate, which is 5.4% now if you are going to use your calculator you just key in immediately the percentage symbol then you can have 5.4% or if your calculator don't have any symbol or the percentage symbol then the decimal value of 5.4% is 0 0.054 so we are going to multiply 200,000 times 0 0.054 times the time which is 3 and we have there now 32,400 pesos so the interest that Anna will earn after 3 years is 32,400 pesos now let us have this second example Find the interest and amount on 21,000 pesos at 7 and 1 fourth percent simple interest for 9 months. Now, using the formula I is equal to PRT, substitute the given. We have P or the principal which is 21,000 times the rate which is 7 and 1 fourth percent. And we all know that 7 and 1 fourth that is equal to 7.25 change it into decimal so we have here now our rate is 0 0.0725 multiply it by our, by our time which is nine months and we all know that it is usually written into years in years so change nine months and that will become nine over 12 years multiplying the p principal r rate in the t time we will get 1141.88 pesos as the interest now even if we already have our interest we are not yet done because we're still going to find the amount or the final value so we all know now that the formula is FV or the final value is equal to P, the principal, plus the I, which is the interest. So P is 21,000 plus I, which is 1,141.88. So the final value or the FV is equal to 22,141.88 pesos. Now earlier we were able to convert final value or the f of v is equal to p plus i into its alternative which is f of v is equal to p quantity 1 plus rt. Now let us try to use this one. f of v substitute p which is 21,000 quantity 1 plus the rate which is 0 0.025 times our t which is 9 over 12 multiplying them we will get the same answer which is 22,141.88 pesos 
Now, let us have this next example. If a principal of 6,500 pesos earns interest of 192 pesos in 3 years and 3 months, what interest rate is in effect? Now, what we're going to do, the same, follow the formula. Interest is equal to principal times rate times time, but first thing we need to do is to derive to get the rate. So, deriving this one, divide both sides by the principal and time, cancel out the P and T. What was left is rate is equal to interest over principal times time. So, we have the formula R is equal to I over P T. For you to remember this formula easily, you can use this triangle wherein we have there I is equal to P times R times T. So in solving for the interest, just simply multiply P times R times the T. Now if you want to solve for the P, just simply divide I and or over R times T. So we have P is equal to I over RT. And if you want to find or to solve for the time or the T, just simply divide I over P times R. So we have T is equal to I over P R. Now going back to the problem that we have we're in, we're trying to find the interest rate or the R. And from the derivation that we have where in R is equal to I over P times T. So substitute the given. We have interest or the I which is 192 pesos. And our P or the principal is 6,500 pesos. Multiplying it by our time. And time is 3 years and 3 months. So first thing we're going to do is to convert this one into fraction. So we have 3 and 3 over 12. Now for you to solve it easily, try to convert the mixed fraction into improper fraction. So we can now have 39 over 12. Now computing that one, R is equal to I over P times T we will get 0 0.0091. And remember, this is still in decimal form. So let us convert this one into percentage by moving to decimal places to the right. So we will have now the rate or the interest rate in this particular problem is 0.91%. Now let us have this example. How long will it take for 9,000 pesos to earn 2,100 pesos if it is invested at 6 and 1.5% simple interest? Now this time the unknown value is the T or the time. From the formula that we had derived, we have T is equal to I over P times the R. Now, substitute the given values. We have I, which is 2,100, our principal, which is 9,000, and our rate is 6 and 1 half percent. Now, let us try to change this one first. So, 6 and 1 half, that's a 6.5. And changing it into decimal, we have 0 0.065. And solving this one, we will have 3.59 years. Now, expect a little discrepancy when checking the answer because the answer, which is the time, is a rounded value. And that ends our lecture video about the simple interest. And next lecture video we are going to talk about the compound interest.